I'm really pleased that The Exorcist 3 is actually a pretty good film, even the name The Exorcist 3. Exorcist 2 is just called Exorcist 2. No definitive article, and I don't know why, but it wound me up. The second Exorcist film is one of the worst films I've ever seen. The Exorcist 3, I actually really enjoyed. I will say, I wouldn't have classed it, classed it as much of a horror. It's more of a mystery. There wasn't anything in this that I thought was scary at all. But it's very suspenseful, and I actually thought the narrative was very well crafted. We had some really great performances. I really enjoyed it. So if you've seen The Second Exorcist and decided to give up, I'd say give The Exorcist 3 a go. I'm really pleased that I did. This was released in 1990. It's directed by William Peter Blatty, written by William Peter Blatty, and stars George C. Scott as Lieutenant Kinderman. And Kinderman is a really fascinating character, really great performance, very believable emotional responses to the situation. There are times when he gets quite angry and shouty, and it's uncomfortable to watch, but it works really well. And there are several aspects to this mystery. The main thing revolves around these killings that identically resemble those of the Gemini killer. And I love the description of the Gemini killer's MO. I think it's really effective. And the un the unusual thing is that the Gemini killer was executed 17 years ago. And the details of the Gemini Killer's MO were not released. They were released but fabricated um, so that people who were coming forward saying, yes, I'm the Gemini Killer, wouldn't actually know the real details. The only person who would know is the Gemini Killer. But he was executed. So who could possibly be doing these killings, these copycat killings, or seemingly copycat killings, if nobody knew his MO? And now we have some kind of suggestion that maybe there's a supernatural angle and Kinderman has to go to this psychiatric hospital. There's a patient there who resembles somebody and I don't want to say who it is. I'm not sure if that's a spoiler or not. Going into it, I knew nothing about this. So I'm not sure if who that patient resembles is classed as a spoiler or something that would come as a surprise within the film. So I'm going to play it safe and not say it. But... If I seem like I'm being overcautious and it's not even a spoiler, then I apologize. But there's somebody in that hospital who is quite mysterious. And while in the hospital, Kinderman meets the other psychiatric patients, the nurses, the doctors. Um, and we travel through this mystery together as we try and work out what on earth is possibly happening. It is a very well-written narrative and very compelling and really fascinating and Everything made a lot of sense. Nothing felt forced. Everything felt believable within the context of the Exorcist films. It, it wasn't scary. There wasn't one moment that I thought was scary. And it's not even so much a product of its time. Obviously, older horror films were not as scary as they are today. But 1990, there are plenty of 90s horrors that are genuinely scary. It's not, but it is a compelling mystery. So if you're looking for a really scary film... Depending on what scares you, I'd say this isn't one of them. But if you're a fan of The Exorcist, I would thoroughly recommend watching this. I would even go as far as saying you don't need to watch Exorcist 2. I would recommend it if you plan on watching everything, all of The Exorcist films. But Exorcist 2, in my mind, doesn't exist. Completely irrelevant. The Exorcist and The Exorcist 3 work really well as a, a film and a sequel. And I really thoroughly enjoyed it. It has restored my faith in the Exorcist films. I'm looking forward to the fourth one, ultimately with the view of watching the one that's released this year. Definitely much better than the second Exorcist. Uh, great performances, great character development, very mysterious, very well-written narrative. Not scary in the slightest, but certainly very interesting. And ultimately, I really enjoyed it.